Hello, welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Um, I think I'm about to embark on my biggest endeavor yet with this camper. Um, as you can see, we're missing something. So we're going to go from this to this. But in order to get to this one, we got to rip all this out and redo it. Uh, the stove was given to us by Contour. They also gave us the microwave. Uh, if you've seen our video uh, changing it out, it wasn't that hard. Um, run into some difficulties, but uh, so far she hasn't used it. We're leaving in about a month, so I have one month to get this done. So I con in order to put that in, I have to redo the cabinets. So I contacted a couple cabinet custom cabinet shops in the area and uh, some didn't want to do it. it was too small of a job uh, the one I got a hold of he said yeah he'll do it and it's about 450 for each cabinet which okay but he only makes them one way because I told him I wanted it lightweight and he said he only makes them one way uh, they make it out of half inch plywood or whatever size of plywood um, nothing custom and I said, well, you're a custom shop, aren't you? He said, yeah, but they only make them one way. So anyway, uh, two other places, I sent them the drawings, everything I needed. No one's gotten back to me, so I'm going to attempt to do this myself. Uh, I'm going to figure it out as I go, whether I have to build all new cabinets and, uh, or see if I can retrofit these ones to work. I need them to be, I think, 19 and a quarter wide. So it's, it's a few inches. So... But first thing I got to do is I have to get this countertop off. So I'm going to cut the silicone around it. Um, I already have everything cleaned out of the drawers and the cabinets underneath. So I got to take the drawers out, the doors off the cabinets, and there's screws holding this on. So let me get to getting this cut out, and uh, we'll see what we have once we get this off. Now remember, anytime you're working in your RV with these uh, slides, pick up all screws. That could really uh, cause a lot of damage. I had to take these out to get to the screws that's holding the uh, countertop on. Okay, I got all the screws out. I'm going to bring you in and show you how they uh, have this all secured before I lift the top off. Okay, you can look here. They had some screws in up here, and then there's screws up above here. And just the same as you go to residential. And I don't know if you can see, but there's also screws up in here. And then they had screws up under here. And then in the back. Now this is, sta this, this is stapled onto this. The same with here. That's stapled on. They're all stapled on, so they just screw into the walls. Okay, one thing I do have to be careful of, I am going to be cutting this out. So there's a seam right here. I didn't even know it was here until I took the stove out. So we just got to be careful we don't bust that up. All right, let's see if I got all the screws out. Now, if, if I was putting this together in a house or whatever, I would put adhesive on here along with the screws. So I'm hoping they didn't put no adhesive. lifts right up yep we are free so one thing that's good um, they have a big gap on this side which I filled in with silicone I didn't want uh, water going down in there so 
So there is a little bit of a, uh, there is a little bit of play here. It's not super tight, which is good. are good. I'm going to have a mess with all the silicone trimmings. Okay, now I have to try to get this out in one piece without breaking it. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a chore, but I'm sure we'll be all right. So let me get a place to set this down and we'll get it out. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of one by on here and just clamp it on just uh, precautionary. This is the one piece I can't fabricate, so we don't want anything at all to happen to this. Okay, so let's get this out of here without doing any damage. And I'll bring you in to show you what the uh, what the cabinets look like. It's not as heavy as it looks. Okay. So let me bring you in and I'll show you what secure needs to the wall. There's a couple issues here we got to take care of uh, before we actually take them out. Um, let me bring you in and I'll show you. Okay, the, the cabinets themselves are pretty straightforward. You just have a couple screws holding everything in. Um, I'll have to figure this one out. There's no corner in here. So, but one of the issues is we have all these uh, electrical lines and propane lines coming through here. And then down the bottom, get my light. Down the bottom, they have a, I actually redid this panel, but there's a false panel in here. I redid, the, I redid it to uh, give Becky more storage room. And one project I've been wanting to do is these lights up here, um, you gotta push on the center to get them to come in. I've been wanting to put a switch on. Uh, tires on a road, John put one, he put a switch over here to work the lights. But this is what your uh, stove hooks up to. You can hook this up for a switch to operate those lights. All right, so let's, uh, let me get all these screws out and I'll See what I'm going to do with the uh, propane lines and electrical lines. There's also a 110 that runs through there. It goes to the refrigerator. So we got to be extra careful. We don't nick anything, especially a propane line. Uh, I think that'd be the hardest to change out. So you can't repair it. So you got to change it. So let me get these screws out and see what we have. Okay, as you can see, that really wasn't too hard to get out. A lot of screws, but uh, this one's broke free. This one's broke free. Now I need to cut out down below to get the, uh, break the uh, wires and uh, propane hoses free of the cabinets. All right, so that wasn't too bad. My problem here is the board that's beneath the floor, not sure how they have it on. There we go. It was just stapled. Oh no, there's a screw in there. Oh, I see. I'll show you. They had two pockets hole, two pocket holes. Uh, they only had a screw in this one. There wasn't one here. 
Well, there's another pocket hole behind this board. So they drilled that in and then they stapled this board on. So you can see the screw. And then here's a piece I made for uh, underneath to cover up the propane lines and the electrical lines to give Becky some more room. I never did this side. I don't know why. Okay, and here's the piece I cut out at the bottom corner. I'm going to do the same thing to both sides of this one. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to reuse this. I don't know what avenue I'm going to take yet. Avenue, pun. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, this side is going to be a little more difficult just because there's wires mounted to the uh, back of the wall. I'm going to bring you down and show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to change this around. Um, I don't like the connectors, so I'm going to put a junction box down here and uh, do it my way. Okay, as you can see, they do have a plug down here, which I'm surprised. I'm not sure what that's for, but uh, it is a nice option to have. But they got all this 110 lines going into these clips, which I don't care for. So I'm going to take it all apart, put a junction box in there. And uh, just clean it up a little bit. Okay, and we got it free. So I just need to decide if I'm going to throw these out or um, reuse some of it. I Honestly, I don't know yet. I'll figure it out as I go. But let me bring you back in here and show you what all is going on. Okay, so this is what it looks like behind your uh, fireplace. It's a lot of storage you're missing out on. I wish they would, I think I mentioned before, I wish they'd put an external door here with a plastic um, container or whatever that you could access from the outside to maybe put your like your sore fittings in because that's just a lot of space, dead space. It's wasted. Okay, so I'm going to pick all these screws up. But uh, there's three circuits coming in here. One, I believe, is yellow one's going to your microwave. I'll find out once I start shutting breakers off. And then one of them comes over to here and then up to the TV. And I will get all this cleaned up. Put a new plug in. The stove is 110. I wish they would make it 12 volt. You get somebody that doesn't have power around their stove. They're kind of screwed on that. But it's not too bad. Not sure what that's for. I don't know if they intended to go up to the plug or how they got to the plug. They probably went in through the uh, refri refrigerator compartment. Okay, let me get this cleaned up and figure out what we're doing. All right, let me give you a little uh, update on my progress so far. Uh, I redid the electric uh, also for the uh, fireplace. I added a an aluminum angle down here. I'll explain that in a minute. And um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the cabinets, whether I was going to make new ones, spend the money and make new ones, or tear these apart and uh, see if I can get them back together. The couple places I, cabinet shops I found, um, I guess they either didn't want to do a small job or they only make them one way. I don't understand that for a custom shop. But anyway, I took one apart, got it back together. I'm, I'll put it in here and show you in a minute. And um, I started to tear this one apart and I got it just about all the way done and I forgot to turn the camera on. So I'll show you in a minute how this is all uh, put together. It's really not that bad. A lot of staples, a lot of prying. Just be gentle, it does come apart. All right, let me bring you in here and I'll show you what all I did. Okay, as you can see, I got the uh, electric all done. There was a single outlet here. I'm not sure why they put that in, but there was one, but I added um, another one with uh, two plugs just in case. Redid the fireplace and I secured all the wires and the uh, propane hose to the wall. 
Now I was going to put a switch up here for these lights. The power goes here, then it goes over to the other one. Got a lot of backlight. But as it turns out, the uh, this is your 12 volt here. So that goes up to your radio, then comes back down, then goes up to the light, comes down, goes across, goes up to that light, and then it comes down and goes to the re refrigerator. So me putting a switch in here, I didn't feel like running the extra wire. Uh, it's a little difficult getting up over here where the refrigerator is. So I might either scratch the switch or do something else. Now this aluminum angle, I put this in because now with that stove here, you're going to have weight actually sitting on here. The way it was before, the cabinet, as you can see with the fireplace and the entertainment center, most of your weight is on the front and on the back wall. There's really nothing on the back here that's adding weight to it. Now it's pretty much the same over here. There's really not that much weight on the floor, even though the refrigerator's there. It's mostly all on the back wall and on the front. So now with that refrigerator, not uh, refrigerator, now with that stove there, that stove is going to be sitting directly on the floor. And I didn't want to put any additional weight on the outside of the floor um, in fear that the floor coming separated from the uh, wall. So I figured that angle will help a little bit. Uh, the old stove was up on top of the cabinets and I don't know if you can get that in here. This is the bottom of the cabinet that went on the floor. Now that was that was there but it really wasn't there wasn't that much weight on it. All your weight was in the front and like I said on the back wall. So I'm hoping that uh, angle takes that up. Alright so let me show you what I did to get these cabinets apart. They're really not that hard. All right, this this is the uh, this is the only piece I broke getting it off, and it was already cracked. So had it not been already cracked, I probably would have gotten it off without uh, further damage. But uh, let's just pretend this is stapled on. So all I did between a uh, stiff putty knife and a little wonder bar, I just got underneath and just started prying to get it up, and it all came apart. And the other thing is. You have pocket holes down in here in these, in these rails. So I take all these out, take these rails out. I cut them shorter. Um, I think it's two inches. I'll have to look at my paperwork. Uh, two inches shorter. Then I drill new pocket holes and screw them into the styles. And everything's good. It all went back together pretty good. And let me put this one in a corner and I'll show you. Okay, that's the cabinet in. It's about, I think it was two, two and a sixteenth I had to take off of these rails. And then naturally I had to cut everything else down. These cross members, I had to make the uh, shelf shorter. But all in all, it wasn't that bad. Now this back plate, this is for your uh, drawer glides. Um, they were all loose. Matter of fact, I think this one only had one screw in it and it was pivoting. So I went and leveled them and secured them. When I secured them, I put fuse it on. So I wasn't able to take it off the wall. I had to cut down here, make it fit. Now I'll have to do the same with the other one. Okay, let me uh, finish tearing this apart and uh, get everything cut, get it put back together. I'm gonna put the stove in here, then put this in and make sure I line everything up because there's cleats that go on the feet of the stove. So I figured it'd be easier if I center the stove, take the cabinets out, put the cleats on, screw them down. That way I'm not measuring or nothing. It should be a lot easier. For square, the squarest thing was uh, the entertainment center. This was off a little bit. Actually the back wall was off a little bit also. There's a couple bumps in there I couldn't get the square on. But uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to yank the cabinets out now. Becky's going to paint the uh, face up and this side that you can see. And then I'm going to put the cleats on the stove, get it mounted in, and uh, we'll get the uh, cabinet 
the countertop cut. I'm a little worried about that. I'm not sure how, how I'm going to cut it. I'll maybe do a couple experiments on it. But uh, so far it's going pretty well. Hopefully by this weekend I have everything together except for the drawers and the doors. Um, I've never made uh, drawers and doors before, so I watch a lot of YouTube. So we're going to check it out and see what happens. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, time for a project update. Uh, as you can see, everything's in. Uh, I got cabinets screwed in. The stove is all hooked up. It has propane, no leaks. Uh, the 110 is hooked up. We do have power. I was able to cut down the, uh, I was able to take the drawers apart, cut them down, staple them back together. So I have them in temporary for right now. Once I get the uh, faces made, I can go ahead and square everything up. And uh, I want to do all, I want to do all that before I put the top on. And other than that, um, the front cleats, I'm not put, I'm not putting on until I'm 100% sure I'm done that I don't have to yank this back out again. So my, ne my next thing I'm going to do is make the uh, cabinet doors and the faces for on the drawers. I'm going to get them made up today. Becky's going to paint them. So hopefully by the end of the day, we have all this together. And then hopefully today we get the countertop on. If not, for sure, tomorrow. The sun's coming out now. So I can set the router and my chop saw up outside and get these made. All right, we'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, time for another uh, update. It's been a long day. I think I got started out here at 8 in the morning, and now it's uh, 10 after 5. So it's been a long day. I am beat. Uh, as you can see, we got the drawers done. Uh, the doors are done. Um, first time I ever used the router table. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It took a while to get the uh, bits set up right, so all the uh, pieces went together good. And... Uh, it wasn't too hard to put together and Becky went and painted them up and I think they look uh, pretty good uh, I'll bring you in and give you a little close-up what it looks like okay we painted them the, the same as they were before and I think it looks pretty good Becky definitely did a good job on painting All right, Beck, so what do you think? Can't wait. So, Ready for the countertop? Yeah, we need to do the countertop yet. We already have it cut out. Uh, we used a circular saw and a jigsaw. It cut pretty good. Um, I would suggest my blade on my uh, circular saw is old. I would suggest getting a new blade. It would have probably cut a lot easier, but I, I didn't have any problem. Um, I didn't do an in-depth video on everything we did here this video would have been three hours long uh it's long enough already but uh okay we're gonna go out we're gonna get the counter top and hopefully i measured right so all right let's go get the counter top okay Okay, I still have clamps on here for where that seam was that I pointed out earlier. I put some fuse in under there to try to uh, keep it together. And I want to try to hold it in place while we uh, set it. Okay, the stove needs to come out more. Okay. <laughs> All right, I, I'll hold this. Grab the door. Should we really? But, but pull both hands, both hands, and pull straight out. Go ahead, lift up and pull. One more. Okay. What happened there? Well. All right, so back to drawing board. <laughs> no, there's a there's a um, three quarter by three quarter piece that runs in the back that support. That's this one. Oh. 
apparently I marked it wrong and it's not uh, seating. Let me see if I can, let me see what I can do here. Take these drawers out again. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Okay, I need a pencil or something right here. All right, we just need to make one minor adjustment. I'm gonna take that. Let me get the saw. Okay, we're going to take it out. We're gonna set it on here and I'll cut. So that just lift up. And then we got two. Lift all the way up and tilt it back. Are you good? Yeah. Why does that feel so freaking flimsy? Because this is only this is only the back part's only an inch and a half wide, so it's very uh, a lot of flex to it. Let me get this cut off. I think that's hitting. You're going to hit the stove. <sighs> My brand new stove. Becky's got a mess to clean up. <laughs> this camper is a disaster. Trust me. All right, let me uh, bring you in. I'll show you what I did. Okay, this piece was notched out for the original. I had made a mark here. I was wrong. And I should have made the mark here. So I just cut this out so it fits down. It fits down on onto here. All right, we're gonna put her back in. Very gently turn it. All right. Okay. Straight in, up, and down. Okay, I think we did pretty good. Okay, we're going to uh, let this, uh, you want to loop over a little bit? Yeah, we're going to leave these clamps on for maybe another hour, and then I'll go ahead and uh, take them off, slide the uh, stove back, but before I do that, there's a board back here. I got to put a couple screws in. But uh, yeah, I'll probably let that set for about another hour. That fuse it sets up pretty good. So, all right. So I'm gonna get this thing screwed down, and we'll be back to you in a little bit. Okay, it's now time for my final progress report. Uh, mission complete. Becky is overwhelmed with joy. Uh, she was in here last night, and she fired up the oven just to burn it out like you're supposed to. And uh, surprisingly, there was no smoke. Uh, There's a little bit of smell, not very much. But uh, we will end up doing a review on the stove and the convection microwave after we've used it for a little while just to see what it's like. She's never had a convection microwave before. So it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for her. So we got the countertop on. It screwed down. We caulked all around the edge. And uh, I do have to say, it does look pretty good. It's hard to believe I had this cabinetry tore apart down to pretty much every part was taken apart. <laughs> so it all went back pretty nice. Uh, let me bring you in and I'll show you what it looks like close up. Yeah, so as you can see, we got everything cocked up. Um, in the back, there's about three quarters of an inch gap back here between the stove and the countertop just to let some heat rise. And she's already started to uh, put some stuff in. And um, 
the sides here, I put this quarter molding in. There was a couple holes here from the uh, original stove. And I tried to uh, put some wood filler in them, but you can still see them. But I figured I'd put that on. And I think it set it off pretty nice. Okay, here's my cut. I used a circular saw to make the long cuts. And I used a jigsaw in the corners. But the cut is a little wavy. But I do want to get a piece of angle or I don't know what you call it, counter protector, and put on both sides. As you can see, this side's this gap's a little bit bigger, so it's not completely centered, but I'm I'm happy with it. Take you back from this side. And I do have to say it does look pretty good. Now, when I tore these apart, I took two inches off of each side. So, um, we lost a little bit of storage, not much. But in preparation for that, I added, added an, an additional um, shelf inside the pantry. So, she's going to store some of her pots and pans in there. And that will also take away a little bit more weight here. Yeah, if she was out here last night putting everything away, like I said, she fired up the stove, but she was putting everything away. I think she got everything uh, situated. She actually, it actually worked out good because she actually got rid of some things, which was excellent. So, but uh, right now I'd like to take this uh, time to thank Bill from Contour for giving us the opportunity to try out their stove and microwave and for also making this into the perfect camper for Becky that she's been wanting since we got this. This was this was a big upgrade, which I don't think she wants anything else. So we'll see. I know something else is coming down the pike. So you never know with her. So anyway, we're very happy with it. Thanks, Bill. And uh, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.